Now, every year around this time, December, when I start buying Satsuma mandarins and really eating a lot of them, I usually have people that are concerned with my vitamin C intake, concerned that I might be overdosing on vitamin C, but eating too many mandarins. So I did some reading and research. Um, there's a, one person actually said that they had experienced vitamin C toxicity, uh, but they said that this was in childhood, so that makes a little bit more sense to me, possibly, because a uh, lower dosage is going to cause that threshold toxicity for vitamin C. So we looked on Mayo Clinic website. Mayo Clinic says that the threshold for vitamin C toxicity in the adult is basically 2,000 milligrams right around there um, per day for the RDA. Um, and so if you're looking at a two and a half inch diameter mandarin per chronometer, you're gonna get about 20 milligrams of vitamin C. So if you do the math, that means that you would have to eat 100 mandarins in uh, one day to reach your mild level of toxicity. A uh, mild level of toxicity is defined as diarrhea uh, by the Mayo Clinic. Other signs and symptoms, I just take a look here on the website. Uh, nausea, vomiting, heartburn, abdominal, bloating and cramps, headache, insomnia, kidney stones. I did see that kidney stones, it's, it started to talk a little bit about oxalate as well and you know calcium oxalate causes kidney stones, um, predominantly calcium oxalate. So here's the reality, much like you have people that will tell you that you know fruit's going to make you fat, if you eat fruit you're going to get obese, your blood sugar's going to be high, which we've proven that that's not the case with my blood sugar test. Um, so it very much like you eat too many oranges, you're gonna get vitamin C toxicity. Well, basically, the, where this is gonna be a major concern is mega doses of vitamins. If you have people that are taking mega doses of vitamin C for things like burns, cancer, common cold prevention, things like this, you're gonna run into a higher likelihood of experiencing those vitamin C toxicity symptoms of. So, a, for me, 75 kilogram male, right now it would basically take um, they're citing here that it would be 11.9 grams for kilogram per kilogram that would kill a 50 percent of the population on that dosage if you do the calculations if you go back that would mean you would have to consume 45,000 mandarins within a 24 hour period to consume a potentially lethal dose of vitamin C. So I'm not too scared of eating, you know, 50 mandarins, vitamin C toxicity. I'm not even going to get the mild symptoms apparently until I reach the threshold of 100 mandarins and then again, maybe I won't even get it. So a little information on vitamin C toxicity. Check it out. Do some reading for yourself. Post in the comments below what you think of this video, if you have any ideas on the topic, and let me know what you want to hear about. We can talk about whatever you want. You just got to post it downstairs, and then we'll be getting it going. All right. See you later.